We knew setting a goal of 400 million was ambitious. We knew it would take every Carl to volunteer and to contribute, but we knew it could be done. The Every Carl for Carlton campaign was designed so that every student would benefit from a rigorous, individualized liberal arts education. Every Carl today and every Carl in the future. From music majors to chemistry majors, from international students to Minnesota natives, from student entrepreneurs to students applying to graduate school, Carls have all been impacted by the generosity of our alumni, parents, and friends. At Carleton, we've made it our priority to enroll the best students, and thanks to this campaign, we've expanded the college's ability to live out its mission of delivering the very best liberal arts education today and for generations to come. Together, we've added funds to the endowment for financial aid scholarships in perpetuity, helping students from all backgrounds access our life-changing education. The cost of education is, I think, always the most important question that most families have about going to college. And, you know, when families see the price tag that, that Carleton costs, you know, immediately for some, it, they see it as a barrier. And I think that, um, you know, the fact that we can offer a really strong financial aid program that enables families to see Carleton as affordable is really important. I am one of those students who was really trying my best to put my energy and my time into things that I was passionate about and into work and learning that motivated me and that rounded me as a person. Sometimes that, actually frequently that, does not always correspond to the income level of somebody's household. Trying to be able to afford a college education and wanting to really be able to continue all of this work that I was doing in high school was a big thing for me. And Carleton completely allowed me to do that at a level that absolutely met my need, that allowed me to come into the college not thinking about money, but thinking about learning and thinking about growing and thinking about all of the things that Carlton encourages their students to work towards. Having students be able to um, share um, and learn from each other um, is, is really what Carlton is all about. And so I think in that respect, um, the campaign's goal to help us um, bring students from uh, uh, diverse backgrounds um, is, is really what Carlton is all about. Through the generosity of our donors, we've strengthened our dedication to teaching and learning by adding three state-of-the-art facilities to foster collaboration in the classroom and beyond. And we've invested in our faculty and our curriculum to preserve Carleton's academic excellence for future generations. Carleton has a long history of excellence in the sciences. Um, it has a long history of supporting women in the sciences, and I think a big part of that is that students feel like they are supported members of a community. And um, one of the things that's great about this new space is that there are more spaces for being in community with each other. This campaign goal means that um, we can uh, try out new experiments, try innovations, and think about ways that we can push liberal arts learning to include more interdisciplinarity, to be more cutting edge, to be responsive to the issues of the world around us, to involve new technologies, to reach more people. And so I think, you know, we want to try and do all of those things. We don't know what are the types of jobs that we need to be able to prepare our students for. We don't know where, how teaching is going to change as technology changes, and we need to be ready to be able to respond to the changing skills that our students bring, the changing skills that our students want to develop, the changing skills that our faculty have, and the changing skills that our faculty want to develop. And to be able to be nimble and flexible and supportive of the members of our community. Carleton strives to prepare our students to lead lives of learning, 
that are rewarding, professionally satisfying, and of service to others. Together, we raised crucial funds to help every Carl afford hands-on experiential learning opportunities to help prepare them for life after graduation. This summer, I have learned a lot of things. I have been working in Julie's Primate Cognition Lab, and we are studying aging and Alzheimer's disease. And so we are doing this by um, gathering some behavioral data from the cotton top tamarins, and we're also performing some physiological work in the microscope. I think with this experience, I've learned uh, a lot more things that are neuroscience-based, which is great because that's one of my minors. And I think working with this animal model has been incredibly um, impactful. I don't know if I'll be able to work with this kind of uh, like animal in the future. It's an incredibly rare opportunity. I did one externship and one internship. My externship was my sophomore winter break, and then my internship was between my junior and senior years of Carleton, um, and I worked at CrowdStrike, which is the company I now work for full time. One of the biggest things, I guess, about not being directly like a STEM major to a STEM career or anything like that is when you have these career development opportunities, you can still prepare yourself in a professional way, even like for the career you want, even if that's not necessarily what you're studying academically. The fact that the Career Center can provide funding for students to be able to go and have these important externships and these important opportunities without being worried about the fact that they are not making money from that specific thing is so important because that is the jump start to a lot of careers. Like externships are so, so crucial um, to so many of my friends' careers, to my own career. These opportunities have given me so much to think about. They have been incredibly fulfilling. They have given me the chance to work um, closely with faculty. And I think that's something that is very different from public um, big universities. And um, just being able to work with faculty and learn uh, with them throughout the process, develop uh, the connections that I have now, it has been incredibly impactful. The past year and more has brought unprecedented challenges to our college and to our community. As we build for the future, we cannot neglect Carleton's most pressing needs today. Over the past five years, Carl's have raised crucial unrestricted funds to bolster the annual fund, giving the college the flexibility to adapt and ensure our students can live their best possible Carleton experience. We set a very ambitious goal for the annual fund as a part of the Every Carl for Carleton campaign, and if there's one set of volunteers and alumni base that could do it, I have no doubt in my mind that it's the alumni and volunteers of Carleton College. The annual fund specific goal as a part of the Every Carl for Carleton campaign is really, in my eyes, the ultimate show of support from a broad base uh, of the community. And that includes alumni, parents, and friends to put their passion behind everything that is important for Carleton, acknowledging that we can improve where we are today and make Carleton better for the future. Hitting the goal allows us to think bigger as we look forward and allows us to have some comfort in the way that we're thinking about budgetary decisions at the college. It allows us to have confidence and, and, and comfort knowing that things like inclusion, diversity, and equity will be properly funded and prioritized in the college budget planning process. Um, it also allows us to think and understand and know and, and feel comfort in uh, the financial aid packages that are that are being awarded and that we can recruit and, and admit the, the best talent that there is uh, that belong at Carleton College uh, and that we can continue to advance the overall quality of life for students, faculty, staff, and everyone that's part of the community through teaching and learning, through student life, through athletics, uh, and through just about everything else um, that, that is in some way touching the Alumni Annual Fund. Even though every one of us continually defines what it means to be a Carl, every Carl shares a commitment to accessible education, a passion for lifelong learning, and an ambition to pursue meaningful lives and careers. Staying great in this millennium requires that colleges respond wisely to modern challenges. The generosity that powered the Every Carl for Carlton campaign will do just that by welcoming the best and the brightest students into our fold and preparing them for meaningful lives and careers, unleashing the talent of our faculty and keeping Carleton truly excellent. Our success is thanks to every Carl who stepped forward 
the tireless volunteers, generous alumni and parents, and dedicated faculty, staff, and board members. Our path forward now is to utilize the resources that we as a community have raised to ensure that every Carl on campus now and in the future can thrive. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to thank every Carl. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. I would love for you to continue your support. I feel so lucky for these opportunities and know that it's not luck. I know it's just you guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>